What's your reaction to one of your boys breaking four minutes for the mile? Obviously, it's awesome. I mean, the goal was to break four. I felt like people, or like even in our own little camp, thought it might be a little early. But like what he's been showing, I feel like he could do it. But we needed him a little bit back in the first half of the race. And he played it out like a pro. He waited, was patient, was patient. I knew he could close like a 56 if he had to. I think he was probably close to that. I don't know. But um, it was awesome. You know, they let me on the infield. I could see him. And he was looking at me, giving me that little thumbs up. I said, oh, it's going to be a good deal. And then Lex and Aaron, 757 and 801. I mean, I don't know. That four by mile. We're looking to average under 405 next month for the, uh, at the, we'll come to New Balance Nationals and just put on a show. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of these guys. You know, they sacrifice a lot to, to listen to me and my, my crazy antics, but it's, I'm, I'm so proud of them. It's awesome. So we saw what you guys did in cross country last, uh, back in December. So, what, I mean, take us through how do you make that transition from that cross country success to carry over to, to indoor season? Well, I, I really feel like the, the way we run our program, like I'm not a big believer in a long break, but I give them the time they need. We had one guy, uh, Leo, Leo Young, we gave a little extra break because he had some tendonitis, but he's running with these guys right now. And I just feel like we just care up, like, it's always, you're always unsure right now, but like, we, we, we kind of do speed year round. Like this is, we, we run a program where we do a little bit of everything all year round. So I always feel like you're two, three weeks away from a, from a big race. That's just how I like to coach. Um, maybe not in July, but like 10 months out of the year. So I knew if there, with the competition, the magic of being at a, like the Armory, we wanted to do it here. We didn't want to do it anywhere else. So, and, and I don't know, you know, we just made sure that they were ready for this race. Once we signed on with Ray, like, okay, we're going to run this thing. We just geared it towards this. Now we'll take a step back, get ready for New Balance, and then it's all about running something really fast outdoors. So is Colin the only sub four guy on this team, or you think there's more guys on it? No, him? I think I have about three that could probably do it. Uh, if we can find a good four by mile outdoors, we're still maybe, I don't know, Penn, maybe. Um, I think we could average, I'll be scared to say it's 402 the way our guys run with Lex, Leo, Aaron. Aaron Solomon's more of an 8-4 guy and he ran 801 today just because it was the only race we could get him into. And, and we didn't decide this the last week, so it was pretty cool. I'm excited. So what's the potential? Like, how, how, when you talk to these guys about their potential, how do you, how do you talk to them about well, it? I feel like this is what I do, and I know it can be looked at as good and bad. We don't set limitations. I feel like my job as a coach and our job as high school and college and professional coaches is to stop looking what everybody does and just focus on what we can do. Not everybody can run under four, but I'm, I'm a big believer. I talk to my guys a lot. Um, we even work with a sports psychologist a little bit, a great guy, uh, uh, Tim Bailey. And like, he's a great guy, and, and I think it helps us focus on the task at hand. And, and I, I think that's a big part of my program, I really do. And, and no matter what, yeah, you can put the, you know the X's and O's, you know all this stuff, but if you believe, and, and, you, and you can get a little bit of magic, and you obviously have to have talent and the right coaching. I, I think you can do great things, and like that's what we're trying to build here. Nico Young set the precedent for these guys to what's possible, and, and it's been awesome for the past like three years. So. We, I mean, from your own sort of professional running career, we knew how much you wanted some for. Yeah, now yeah. To, to have one of your guys do it, like, does this fulfill something for you? Or? It does. You know, my running career, I came back later on in life, in my in like my early 30s, to try to do my dream of breaking four, and it never happened. You know. Was close um, you know I run some decent 1500s and 800s and you know some good stuff on the road and but like I really believe that like I learned a lot from my own mistakes because I had like a million different coaches I was on these little <laughs> groups but like in the back of my head I said I'm gonna coach one day and I'm gonna do the best I can and I didn't I didn't think it would be high school but it, it's pretty awesome to be able to raise the level and and my number one goal is to get them ready for college you know and Nico Young, Jace Ashburner, Fiona Hawkins are all former runners of mine running so well in college. And that, that's where I love it, you know, to see them move on and love the sport and do great things. Awesome. Congrats, Coach. Thank you.